Problem number 48 of section 1.4, we calculate the integral of sinh of x times uh, cosine of x. Um, it's probably easiest if we rewrite the hyperbolic trig function in terms of, um, or in a, but using its definition in terms of ex, uh, exponential functions. Uh, so we can rewrite this as uh, the integral of uh, e to the x minus e to the negative x over 2 times cosine of x dx. Uh, if we can, we can just pull the 1 half um, out of the first term to make the, or out of the integrand to make things a little easier. And now we can go ahead and use, use, or, uh, use integration by parts. And if we let, um, say, let's let u uh, equal cosine of x. And so that du is equal to minus sine of x dx. And then dv is then equal to e to the x minus e to the minus x uh, dx. And uh, v is, if we just integrate this uh, function, we get e to the x uh, plus e to the minus x. So we know that this is equal to um, 1 half times uh, u times v. Now we have e to the x plus e to the minus x. Uh, times cosine of x and so uv minus the integral of v times du, which is e to the x plus e to the minus x uh, times uh, du, which is minus sine of x. So we'll have sine of x dx, and this will change to uh, plus sign. Um, I would like to be able to uh, use our usual trick of adding, you know, getting kind of the integral. Uh, we use, use u substitution, we get the same integral in our expression, then we add it to both sides and we're able to solve for it. But the problem here is we kind of reverse things. Uh, in the original integral, we had sinh of x and cosine of x. Here, if we multi multiply by 1 half, we end up with cosh of x times sine of x. Um, but if we apply integration by parts just one more time to this integral, uh, actually should be able to get back to something that has uh, something of this form in it. So if we now let, so now we're computing the integral of e to the x minus e to the negative x uh, times the sine of x dx. Uh, now if we go ahead and you know, proceed as before and let u equal sine x. Uh, du equals cosine of x dx. Uh, if dv is equal to e to the x minus e to the negative x then uh, v is equal to e to the x uh, plus e to the minus x. And let's see. Just realize that we should be uh, looking at the integral of e to the x plus e to the minus x. That means that becomes a plus, this becomes a positive sign, and this sign becomes negative. All right, so now we can evaluate this and we see that it's equal to well, u times v. So e to the x minus e to the negative x uh, times sine of x uh, minus the integral of v times uh, du. So v is e to the x minus e to the negative x 
times du is cosine of x dx. Now if we substitute this back into uh, our computation for the uh, original integral, So now we'll have uh, plus e to x negative e to the x times sine of x. And we'll have minus the integral of e to the x negative e to the negative x uh, times cosine of x dx. All right, so now uh, if we let's see, probably should close the bracket on the right and add a constant. And now we can, uh, well, if we multiply through by 1 half as first, uh, we see that well, if we divide this by 2, it becomes um, cosh of x. And if we divide this by 2, it ends up being cinch of x. And if we divide this by 2, we end up with um, cinch of x. So now if we can um, just add the integral of cinch of x times uh, cosine of x dx uh, to both sides of the equation. Um, so adding it to the left, or the very beginning, we get 2 times the integral of cinch x cosine x dx. And on the right, we have uh, cosh x cosine x plus cinch x sine x uh, plus c. And now dividing by 2 gives us our final answer.